The Embassy Theater's new ballroom is set to open next year and will serve hundreds of visitors every weekend. The project's going to also help utilize parts of the building that were never used. News Channel 15's Gina Glaris joins us with a preview. Gina? Construction crews have worked tirelessly to make sure the ballroom is done by February. It's already booked every Saturday through next November and into 2017. For more than 40 years, the 6th and 7th floors of the Embassy Theater sat vacant. Before that, they were part of the Indiana Hotel. And it really just sat empty since um, it was vacated in the late 60s and early 70s. We used it for storage, and we only had one elevator that went to the third floor. Not only did leaders add an elevator, construction on that space, now a two-story ballroom, began last January. It's designed mostly for private events. One in four brides who were calling had uh, occupancy of 250 or more, and across our small lobbies, we couldn't even do that. So. This was, it was really important that we were able to meet um, everyone's needs and to, and to be able to grow. The ballroom will seat more than 300 people. A grand staircase was cut out with construction crews making hundreds of trips to haul building materials. It's all been really important that it, that it had that look and feel of history. We are on the National Register of Historic Places and we need to make sure that we maintain that level of integrity. The new space goes with the rest of the embassy. Burgundy carpets, extravagant lighting, and gold walls, all nine coats. The $10 million project also includes a rooftop patio, rehearsal classroom spaces, new offices, four new dressing rooms, box office renovations, a new history center in the current catering kitchen, and bars added into the theater lobby to create more room for guests. We are literally doing facelifts and major renovations in every part of the building, and it will all be impacted by the time we're done in February. The embassy has raised $8 million from foundations, private individuals, city legacy, and TIF funding. To see a photo gallery of the progress, head to our website, wayne.com. Gina Glaros, News Channel 15.